Hi, this is Henry Cobb, and welcome to another uh, uh, The Fantasy Trip exercise. The Fantasy Trip is the game by Steve Jackson Games, and it's been recently re-released. And this episode is titled, Yanking on a Yak. Uh, it'll have a yak, obviously. So, our first is our hero here, a cowgirl with uh, a lasso, horse bow, a saber, uh, st standard sort of gear. Uh, she should, you know, she might want to have acrobatics or something, but she's a little, you know, just getting the, the bow and the horsemanship and etc. cetera, uh, pretty much fills her up. So, and then she has a faithful horse here. And while carrying the cowgirl, I'm just using the standard, um, rules as written for encumbrance. So that means it's pretty well laid down. You know, it, it, it's pretty much maxed out just with a cowgirl who's just wearing cloth armor. I'll, I'll fiddle around with encumbrance later on, but today what I'm doing is I'm introducing some alternate rules for the exotic weapons, the unusual weapon category, especially the lasso, which will be used here. As you see, she has one. And lastly, we have the yak. Now, this is a prized animal. It's worth, you know, like half a thousand dollars. So, and it's gone, it's gotten spooked and has stormed away from the ranch. So now the cowgirl is out to capture the yak, hopefully using a lasso or something. And so we'll see how well these uh, these uh, new lasso rules work. Uh, I've set up the characters uh, essentially next to each other. The, the yak is running away and is continuing to run away, which means an automatic uh, initiative this turn. And the, the yak here is uh, the W character. The X is the horse, which is in both hexes, but the X for the cowgirl is the... Um, Front hex of the horse is what she's overlapping. And I don't have any two hex counters, so I'll just use a wolf here for the yak. It's, it's you know, it's a four-legged uh, mammal. You know, furry. About the same, you know, looks about the same, right? So it's just going to run away at full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eee, right, I'm... This is probably open plane, so I'm not going to worry too much about edge effects. All right, now the riding horse here, with cowgirl attached, has got MA of 14, and so we're going to move uh, up uh, a, a whole bunch here. We're going to use essentially a full move on that. And again, you know, this is the built-in encumbrance rules from the, the game, and I think these, these penalize horses way too much. But let's, let's do this thing and see how it works out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, let's move up ten here. The horse, rear of the horse, following, represented by a bear, following along. And now she's going to um, try her um, lasso. And because of the short range, she's at her nominal dex of ten. Her missile weapons talent doesn't apply to lasso because it's not really a missile weapon. And those, those are listed there. So here we go. Three dice for a 10 or less to hit with a lasso. And with a 14, it does no good. All right. Next turn. We'll just, uh, in order to, uh, we'll just move our one back uh, 10 hexes and continue along. All right, let's see. What's the, what's the yak's reaction this time? Not so much initiative, but what's its plans? How's it, how's it feeling? And the yak is feeling very angry at the moment, being chased around and having a rope toss in it. The lasso is now discarded back there. Well, it, it, it's discarded essentially in this hex. We can use a weapon counter here of some sort. Yeah, I'll just use a snake to represent the dropped lasso right there, in case it wants to be packed up. All right, well, the yak really doesn't like this, so it does a shift to there and is engaged. All right, the horse is now definitely engaged at this point because it's, a, it's facing a two-hex critter. So, 
Uh, yeah, the cowgirl is going to respond by shifting like that. Note that she's engaged by another multi-hex figure, so she doesn't get the exception that she has when engaged by smaller figures that uh, she could uh, uh, move away from it. So, on its turn, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. All right, 10, 10. Ah, the act has uh, dex 11, which beats the adjusted dex of 10 for the other two figures. Uh, it's going to, let's see, stomp and gore. All right, it's going to try to gore the horse. It's at a, is it at a minus two? Well, it's, it is a mounted critter itself, so we'll ignore that minus two. All right, well, here we go. Attacking the horse, dex 11, and 12, just barely miss. All right. The cowgirl is going to draw her saber at this point. And that's her action for this turn. All right, initiative. Yak is purple. Third turn three. All right. Uh, the yak has the initiative. It tells the uh, cowgirl to move first. Uh, cowgirl slips her horse. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna remain uh or she's gonna remain in her spot. In fact, let's uh let's just shift these guys out because we don't want the edge effects. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's essentially an infinite open plane that they're on. Alright, and she's going to Alright, um well, she's essentially in a side hex. Ah, yes. Which means this attack couldn't work. Which means she's not engaged. All right. Let's see. Get off the horse. Uh, you know, there's defensive advantages to being on the horse. Oh, yeah. And the, um, the rope is dropped right there. All right, so do a full move here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move to the side. All right, the uh, this is a shift in place of one hex, and the yak has the first attack at dex eleven against. Uh, Let's see, one, two, three, the horse, four, five, six, the rider. Six, the rider. It's going to try to attack the rider, and that would be at a minus two. There, there's a definite height. Yeah, I'll, I'll consider that to be a height, a, a disadvantage there. So that gets it adjusted dex nine, which means the cowgirl uh, goes first. She really doesn't want to cut this animal down, but it's certainly being a pain. So she's going to attempt an animal handler roll. IQ 11, and let's see, what's the modifiers in this particular case for Animal Handler? Yes, indeed. She's got lots of uh, tools in her toolkit. She's an experienced wrench hand, after all. All right. Animal Handler. All right. All right, well, gee, she's not going to be, all right. Uh, having saber in hand, she keeps the saber on the other side, so it's not facing towards the beast. And then she attempts an animal handler roll. And 9, 10, 11. She succeeds. All right, so that gives her another, uh, in this case, because there was already combat going on, uh, so that gives the yak another uh, another roll for reaction. And yeah, six, the yak is 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 uh, content to let the uh, 
situation go for there? All right. So next turn. Let's see what's the what's what's the options for dismounting here on around page one thirty. All right. Uh, dismount. And go two hexes. All right. Um, she's going to try and get her rope back. So she dismounts and moves to there. Or just like that. This is, this is on, uh, yeah, this is on turn four. We're not strictly in combat at the moment, but those things are tense. Let's see. Uh... What does the what does the horse think of all this? Well, the horse is pretty content. So, uh, and the yak, three. He's he's standing his ground, looking kind of distasteful. So the horse is going to back off to here. All right. And uh, let's see. Can I make a hasty pickup of a weapon from an adjacent hex? That's, that's an interesting question. So this this hasty hasty weapon pickup. What what's the what's the rules for that? All right. Uh, da, da, da. Movement. All right. There's. Uh, let's see. Where are the rules here for actions during movement? I think they're near jumping. Surprise. Ah, action to drag movement. All right. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Three die roll versus dex. I guess. Because she used her full movement to get there. So, dex 10. Trying to pick up a rope. See so if she falls over. No, oh, she actually gets the rope. So she has the lasso in hand. And what's the effect of that? All right, action and during movement. The, is it readied? What what uh, what what's what's going on here? Now you pick up a weapon. Yeah, so basically that's a ready new weapon. So it is uh, the lasso is ready this turn. So now next turn the reaction roll for the yak it's, 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 it's standing there looking pretty content and now she tries her lasso again All right, just dex 10 All gonna get herself cord Ah That is Seven, she made it by three. The yak sees the rope coming, so he gets a dodge or setting throw, but it's a contest of decks by my rules. So he needs to roll at an eight or less to evade the rope. Oh, dearie me. All right, a 17 means he's pretty, he's pretty thoroughly roped in there. All right, so now he's got both hands on the uh, rope. Having reholstered her saber, I believe, at some point. So, she gets a, uh, she does a, um, a shield rush type of effect. And because the, uh, this is her strength of 10, she's plus 10 for using both hands on a rope. And uh, the yak is twice that strength. So, by the shield rush rules, we, right, here we go. Where is the shield rush? Really, I'll have to memorize this better. Setting a foe. It's probably less in the back, isn't it? Let me see. Ambush, working, clubs.
Yeah, yep. All right, chill rush. And it listed here. Yes, 44. What exactly? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that. Because that is not, definitely not, oh yeah, oh, that's an incidental. That's, that's for the martial arts. That's silly. All right, pinning affair. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of that. All right, let me go scan the PDF and see what that's got. Oh, what? Oh, there it goes. 112. Oh, there we go. So, um, you know, it needs to roll two dice to retain its footing, and as a yak, it's got decks low. So, uh, it retains its footing. All right, uh, next turn. Roll initiative. Tie. Yak remains purple, of course. Lovely. This, this should really be a contest or something. Yay. I can roll doubles all day long, can't I? Alright, she's got the initiative. She asks the yak to go first. Well, the yak doesn't like this rope on it. So, it's going to go one, two, to there. And charge her. All right. Let's see. What's her? What's her? All she can do is shift. The horse really doesn't want to take much part of this. And so now it's going to try to gore her. And the fourteen it misses. And she's going to try her automatic hit shield rush, which means the yak needs to roll two dice for 11 or less or lose its footing. She can certainly use some help from the filled hands. Yeah, it, 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 it's got its fill. It, 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 it's still uh, upright. All right. So things are looking pretty bad for her currently, even though she's got, she's got a bull by the horns. Really, I mean... What else can we tell? What else can we say here? All right, next turn. Who has initiative? Oh yeah, that was uh, five, six, All right, the act has initiative. Ask her to move first. She's going to shift onto its side, and it's going to shift on top of her. Trying to make a, uh, all right, now let's see. I have, um, I have optional rolls here to deal with, um, reactions to, uh, hand-to-hand. -hand. If we go apply those, all right, so a hand-to-hand -hand attack has been made here. And let's see, uh, she can't do a stop hit with a lasso. Um, all right, she's going to try to evade. So she's going to try to move away, and that's just two dice, because she's get, uh, coming in from the front. 
11, and her adjusted dex is 10. So, nope, she's down. Alright, now it's hand to hand time. She's fallen, so she doesn't, she's fallen and can't get up this turn. So the yak now attacks, adjusted dex 15. Nope, it's a low one because it's a, a, multi, a multi hex figure against a smaller one. So it's going to do the stomp for two dice. There we go. Uh, 12. Exactly miss. Alright, turn 7. Initiative, it really isn't a consideration at this point. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. She still had the, the lasso on it. No, you, you have to drop the lasso when you're in hand to hand. So that, that's, uh, let's, let's get, this gets dropped again. We snake. All right. So, yeah, turn seven. Uh, da, da, da. Well, we'll roll for initiative anyway. All right, the act has initiative. It's just going to stay stomping in that spickler spot. It's it's out, it's out for blood now. Squish, squish. All right. So now the act has adjusted dex uh, 15 for the stomp, and that's uh, going to go before anything the cowgirl could do. Help, help, I'm being stomped. And a 13 misses. All right, she's going to try and um, get to her feet, 10 or less. Yep, that, that fails also. All right, turn eight. Things are not looking too, fine, too happy on the range. All right, she has initiative. She tells the yak to move first. The yak wants to stay there. She's under him, so she gets no move. All right, the act does a stomp for 15. And 11, uh, 12 is a hit for two dice of stomping damage. That's uh, nine hits past your armor. That means she doesn't get any action this turn. Next turn. Uh, who has the initiative? The act does, tells her to move first. She's got no move. Uh, the act will stomp first. All right. Ah! Let's redo that press turn. Because, yeah, he doesn't get, he doesn't get the plus four to have to stomp a smaller one. So that's a miss on the last turn. All right. So, and then she had a roll to get it from out from, it from under, and she fell down. All right. Now, this turn, the stomp goes first, on her left. Ooh, double damage stomp. And with a five, yep. Uh, she takes nine points of damage, so she's falling down. All right, now turn ten. Who has the initiative? She does, but uh, she's got nothing to do. The yak is staying on top of her. The yak takes his stomp first at 11. That's a hit. Three more points. She's dead. And the yak wins and runs off, probably with a horse somewhere. <laughs>